Slimy. Will I get taken back immediately or can I just... Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Did you just wow? But how can you think of a ring and trip? I mean, even if you have things on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Happy Lily! Yes, become a regular priestess. Yes, let's do that. Sounds way better. Wait, what? We just gave you back the ring! To not be clumsy. Like a ring of no clumsiness. Oh my god. <laughs> we, get the, we get the ring back and then she doesn't want to keep it. I'm sorry I spilled tea on you. Aren't we still wearing the, the clothing? Oh no. We're wearing the front. Everything else is in the wash. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. If she's gonna wait, she's gonna be... Oh, look at that. Oh. Damn it! I want to see what happened when the cat was still on it. Hello, black butterfly. How are you doing today? Read it. Are you stupid? Think about why the saint would have you hold her ring. Signed, a friend. <laughs> Excuse me for being stupid. <laughs> I think it's the Pope and the girl. It's going to smash it. She's going to smash the Pope. Mount completed. From 30 to 70? Hmm. Right, now that I'm here, I'm going to actualize this to a soldier. Oh, it's so cute! So cute! I want to name it Taunty, yes. Captain, it's an honor to meet you. I will become your shield and sword. Anyway, doesn't matter. I will work hard anyway. The toy sentinel pledges loyalty to Arnus and plunges into battle as soon as it sees an enemy. Alright. Toy sentinel's servant burst increases combo hit count in exchange for a speed. Make infinite chains. Ah. I already have a dinosaur, so can I, like, use it for something? Because I already have a dinosaur. Don't think I need multiple of those. I could. But I'd rather have unique ones so far. So this is an attack one. Pretty nice. Alright. 
Um, right, I'm gonna use this. Wow. Oh wow, it gives me four. That's cool. I can use more. It gives me one HP, but I get like five, so I can... <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's servant strengthening. It's pretty cool. Can I use it on this too? Ah, that doesn't get increased, so only this guy gets increased things. Ah, I want to use it then. I got two cutlasses. Yes. Yeah, no. The critical hit initiating is better. Nice. So, this guy now gets 10 points. <laughs> 10 damn points. That's nice. So that gives like 3, 6, 9. So that gives like 19 points. What would happen if I get 20 though? So, add status, I get skill. Okay, so... I'm a master of the sword. I can't do this. Yet. But I can... Take cover, apparently. Oh. Alright. Press the guard dodge button to lessen damage when launched. All right. Cool. I can take cover. Daytime activities and special quest except up. Increase number. Ah, ah. Here we go. So I need twelve charm to get that up. This is for battle. This is for daytime activities. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, how far am I into action management, and what do I need to do for it? Are you concerned? About what happened last night, you need to talk to Lilith. Oh, look at that. It gives you things to like complete in the middle. I didn't even notice that the first time around. Pretty sweet. Pretty damn sweet. Right. I'm going to the arena. I want to test out the second form I have. Apparently he has different things now too. <laughs> I think he does. But how would you know I go from the suite to the arena? Yes. Yes. Why would you send away perfectly good blood? Damn you! I want that blood. Well, she does too. <laughs> Okay, she knows and she doesn't want to tell us. Is, she, is he a demon? Is he actually a demon or a half demon? What, what is his, his thing? I want to know now. Aha, watch over me? Right, sure. So still the same tasks. Right, I'm gonna try and transform. Sorry though. Let's see what the next transformation is all about. Just for you guys. I maybe increased my thing. Okay. 
you will just see it for a second, but at least you can see it. Oh, it's demon form anyway. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait. Oh, right. I can't see us. I can't do the second formation because all of them were. Damn it. They were all. Yeah, my bad. Ugh, I'm stupid. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry. They're all uh, sword dragons. So they all had the demon form anyway. That cupcake is still in the background. That cupcake is so going to be eaten one day. I hate that cupcake so bad. One hot chocolate. Right, is she going to be clumsy this time around? <laughs> she sounds more like a man. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love the conversations. So good. Oh, it had to be really hot now. That would have been so funny. But she's not clumsy anymore. That's something. Hi, Jenner. <laughs> Another black message. What now? My dear Arnas, I've sent someone who will provide you with valuable help. This person is very knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the night and should be of great use to you. Night grows stronger with each day that Milada waxes. The countdown to the world's end has already begun. You must find the blue altar that will lead you to the Night Lord before it's too late. Cooperate with the person I've sent and find the altar. Always your guide. Huh, so are we going... Hi, Jenner. Um, this game, uh, it's about a half demon. Arnis, our niece, our niece. Puns intended. Um, and we, the night is coming. We are on an island where it's always nighttime because the night lord is about to awaken, which is a demon, and we have to stop him. And one of our friends, the priestess, is becoming a saint, and a saint needs to be sacrificed or offered in order to lock the Night Lord away. That's about it so far. That's how far I'm in. Ah, more written. P.S. You should be craving blood by now. Stop being so stubborn and let the cura help you before something bad happens. <laughs> Yeah, and we have basically we had red blood and there's demon blood, which is blue. Hence Knights of Azor and all the blue stuff. And basically we're the only person where red blood mixes with blue blood and we're now half demon. And Yay, we completed the chapter. And event. Uh you might notice this guy. These guys are servant. Basically servants, but spelled differently. Servants. We have different ones. We can collect different ones. We can collect more if we want to. We can have four in battle each time. And they help us battle things. So this one is an attack character. It's a dragon sword. This guy, or little cute thing, is our healer. This one is our big, massive tank. And this one is a support character, basically. The attacks. More of a tank guy, but yeah. This is all a support guy. 
who can shield and attack at the same time. And this is a toy soldier called Tanti. But very much attacks things. Literally. Attacks everything. You have deck loadouts. You have four deck loadouts you can do. And you can switch between them in battle. If you want to. Um, yeah. Currently I only have one group. This is my group. With Ace, Rizal, Vara and Gust. You can also equip them items. One item per uh, servant. Which is pretty fine and fun. You can collect different things. They all do different things. And you can strengthen them as well with abilities or fetishes. If you want. As Arnie's, you can equip four things. Only have unlocked one so far. You can have skills. You can buy with four different uh, points. I really want to know what Hellfire Hunter is, though. Demon form will last longer. Nice. That's pretty good, actually. Right. Um, as you just read, you can actually transform if you have enough points in your thing and you can transform it to wow, seven to a sentinel. You have four different transformations. You have demon form, which looks very, very cool. You have rabbit form, phantom form, armor form. Uh, the way you can uh, know which transformation you will get is based on your servants. As you can see here, underneath the character, you have like those red dots. Those are for demon form. These are probably for the phantom form, we suspect. I have no idea, never tested them. This is the armor form. And this is the rabbit form. As we think. Well, um, the transformation is based on your loadout. So this will get like six points. This has five points. This is two points. This is uh, three points, and this is also three points, I think, or two points. I don't know if the first one counts. So otherwise, this is four. This is four. This is two, and this is two. I think it's max five, probably. So you get twenty points in total. But your leader is is counts for two. So if you have ten points. I think the, the one with the most um, points will take the transformation. So if like if I put Ace as my leader, it will be demon form. If I put this in leader and this will gather the most points, I will get the phantom form and so on, so on, so on. All forms are different. This is basically an attack form, uh, f uh, demon form. I think this one is... the phantom one is more... bit in between. Like attack and defensively. Armor is definitely defensive. And this is support. The rabbit is more. Uh, I think Feather was more support. And this one is more around the healing, I think. Uh, the rabbit, I don't know. We'll have to test things out, but. Demon is definitely very good. So we've completed a full chapter, I believe. Yep. I can't go back to one, which is weird. A letter from your guide. Read it thoroughly, then head to the lobby. So we read it. Mm. You have side quests in this as well, which you can pick up from Simon down below or upstairs. There are 99 floors in this hotel. And you have different extra side stuff, like, like these uh, conversations, which is pretty fun. But I think you just stayed a bit late, Jenner, for now, because I'm about to finish off. But tomorrow I'll be back with this. So. You're done making my bed. You're a weird person, Lily. You're a weird person. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish off. The oh, look at that toy soldier! That <laughs> looks so good. 
Yeah, if you want to see more, you can subscribe and then I will be back tomorrow around the same time. I will start at 2, 2 p.m. UK time. 2 p.m. GMT. Which is probably like 4 a.m. in the morning for Americans, I think. But I will stay around until this time, so that's about... <laughs> well, probably I will stream for another about well, five hours. I think I'm currently, or four hours from now, today. That toy show looks so cool. I think I'm gonna close down with the altar of Jorth, so you can see what that's all about. So basically, when we go there, I'm in a dream world, and that's where you level up your normal character. When you do battle you can level up your servants, but in here it's just basically your sword and yourself. Oh. Yeah. Probably not then. <laughs> then time indeed is not a problem. We've been waiting for you again, Agent Arnus. So, as you can see, What kind of game? Well, this one, probably again. I will probably play Knights of, Knights of Azor again. Because it's just cool. It's really cool. So, yeah. If we're going to Dream World and we're going to level up, we need this garment apparently. Because the lesser garment means more effective when offering blood. Japanese games. I mean, yeah. So we can actually go to level 3 and we have max level 10. Okay. Oh, we get more charm and more finesse, which is good. We get new skills. Equip limit up. Nice. Add a deck party. Also cool. Alright. Let's offer some blood, shall we? I new master skill learned. Thank you for the follow, and yes, you will definitely hear me. I'm gonna stream. I've been two weeks now since I streamed because I was playing Uncharted 4 and I didn't want to get ruined anything by streaming that so I took my time off for that. I got 20 more HP, more attack. So yeah, now I'm back probably for now daily around 2 p.m. till yeah, GMT is like... Whew. Might be 1 p.m. GMT as well, I don't know. Um, but yeah, around this time, and then I'll go for dinner soon. So uh, for now, I'm streaming about in the afternoon for about four to five hours. Oh, hello, Demon Sword. What is this? What's about? What about my sword? That sword is going to transform, isn't it? The shape? Oh, we get daggers now. Oh. We get daggers. Holy! Yep, it is. Yes, it's my blood. But now it's been infused with as well as red blood as demon blood because it's blue and red. Yeah. Your half demon blood can influence the blood to create necessary things for me. I see. Ah! Oh, yeah. 
My character is basically nude because the attire I need to perform the blood ritual to increase my level basically requires no clothing. Why? Pfft, Japan. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> Ole! Oh, I can switch! Oh, that's cool. So I can switch from my sword to my daggers whenever I need to now. Each weapon has unique strengths and weaknesses. Use the best weapon depending on the situation. That's cool. The time has come. Thanks for your help. Till the next blow offering. Bye. Goodbye. Oh wait, is this new? The skill add deck party has been acquired. You can place up to, to four servants in each deck party. By creating multiple deck parties, you can increase the number of servants you bring when fiend hunting. However, you can only summon the four servants from your active deck party. You can edit the deck party. That we already know. And you can edit the deck party. Nice. Ole. <sighs> if I have to, I'll wake up. Sure, fine, whatever. <laughs> well, Japan, yeah. I mean. She's a demon hunter with reasonable attire or garments. Then you have the clumsy priestess, which is re which is now a maid for now. I mean, oh, yeah, feet only come out at night. Yep, yep. Ah, it's all fine. I'll survive. Yep, and soon you will be dead. Have you think have you thought about that, Lily? You will be dead soon. Ah. <laughs> 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 Experience the world during the day, but I thought everything was night time. There was no day anymore. So wouldn't that mean that fiends are out during, even during the day, aren't that they are there? Ah, there we go. Daytime activities is now available. After Arnas has returned to the hotel, you can set up daytime activities that she will perform the following day. Oh, right, right, right. Right. Okay. I think I've heard about that. I, I did do a little research. So basically, I can do daytime activities and it will grant me skill points to use. Because otherwise, it would be weird to just level up. Cool. I can plan up to three things. Cool. But if you don't spend much time hunting fiends, you can't perform any day activities the next day, so be aware. They might take some things from other games, or at least think that's what you're doing. Right. Or some textures or 3D characters. Wouldn't be surprised. It's Japan after all. Oh, what does that, this guy want? This guy want now. Hello. Thelma. Yes. Thelma. Let's rest together. <laughs> what? You always sleep with her, master. What about me? I get so lonely. 
<laughs> yes, brute physics. They float whenever you are not even jumping. Well, they move a little bit when breathing, so I think it's a little bit fair that they move a little bit, but... Still. <laughs> Fine, let's sleep together. Right. Just gonna double check this on. Uh, what could I do? I could daytime activities now. I have one plan. What would be my plan? I would gain spirit points, charm points, finesse points, stamina points, earn some money. I'm gonna check my status for skills first. Equip. Okay, I'll do that anyway. And I think I'm gonna pick this so I can actually get more quest acceptance. Because I need 12. So if I do this, I get more daytime activities, I guess. Wow, 25. Can I get anything else? No. I immediately mastered daggers. Fair enough. So, right, I will go for charm, and, hmm, <laughs> yes, she was feeling a bit lonely, I mean, ha. Huh. I think I'll go for finesse. So, let's do... Charm points. Okay, I will read a book. Actually, I'm gonna read even more for my daytime activity. Um, I want the quest stuff. Right. Those are daytime activities, I confirm those, okay. Right, I'm gonna finish up with the lobby, see what I can do there. Um. Hello. Oh. Um. Did I do a battle? I'm going to level. Fair enough. Now you see the level of the servants. They can all get level 10. But except for Gust, who has a special ability and he can go to 11. Uh, yes. Um, I will probably put it on YouTube as well, so... My YouTube link is underneath the thing, so probably will go out soon. You can see the battle. Basically, it's pretty awesome. You missed you missed actually a pretty nice dragon boss battle. Ability enhanced, rare slash enhanced, attack range increased. Cool. So we don't get to choose a uh, ability now. Okay, so Alvaro leveled up. What does he get? You've been enhanced. Stun para paralysis resist enhanced. Wait, aren't those both the same thing? Increased resistance to stun and para paralysis effects. So basically we've got double resistance. Or is it one enhancement? But what is the enhancement? Fair enough. Next 4000 XP. Oh, great. So, yeah, the blood re you require during the battles is the amount of XP you get per servant, by the way. Mega heal enhanced. HP recovery enhanced. 
There we go. Rise is a little bit behind, but eh. The night is still young. Please continue fight hunting. Due to a short search time, your deactivity was not ex executed. Really? Fair enough. I got a Narwhal's Tusk. Increased negative status rents. Reduced duration by 50. Yeah. Oh god, yes. So, you can actually find servant fetishes in the game, which basically if you actualize them, they will become a f servant, which you can use. This apparently will become a spider, an arachne. Also, uh, if you see these items, the I um, uh, like SP plus three, defense plus four, they're not actually all the same. If you find two of those boots, they will actually be different each time. Which is pretty nice. So, I already have enough vampire beds, I'm gonna sell these for money. Alright. I'm not gonna talk to her for now, because that will probably increase. Are you serious? <laughs> Wine, some creepy looking specimen, and curly stuff? Will you have to do something with these items? Because that's a cupcake and that's items that's lying there. And they have a question mark. I wonder. Right. Where is... Hmm. Where is our... Where's Simon? I was going to finish off with him, but hey. Huh. Right, so let's go to deck loadout. I thought we had. No, didn't we add a new one? Ah, no. Still not unlocked. Damn it. Actualize. Black. What? Who do we get? Oh, is that a rat? Wow. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> Do you want to call it spam? No. Do you want to call it Amoro? No. Do you want to call it Bukakio? No. No. Do you want to call it Nreo? Eh, not really. Alright, Jnar. See you there. Thanks again for following. Yes, I want to call it Guri. That sounds a good name. You called for me? I don't feel like working, so I'll support you from the rear. Work hard! You can do it! Type. Movement limit. Enemy draw. Hunter net. Rachne is an incarnation of a spider. It supports Arnus with its sticky, sticky silk. Sure. It slows down enemy movement with its web or pulls them closer with its sticky silk. Huh. That's pretty cool. Mukakyo. That yeah, could be a cool name, but fortunately you can't name them yourself. I thought that was the, f the first time that was the case, but apparently they're just different names that they give it. Well, if you put yo with an e, then probably yes, because it's spewing sticky silk, so... <laughs> if you want to go that route, we can go that route. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> right. I think that's it for today. I have a lot of things in my inventory. Oh, I can do one more. Ooh. Which one can I give? It's more attack, more SP, which probably means more summons. I need 5000 XP for the next level. That's more HP. I can actually do this. I have a better vampire bat. Um. Don't really need the defense right now. I think I'm good on that. Don't need the SP. I think I would go for the fire vampire bat in this case. 
because that's more percentage, that's even more blood for me. Alright, I'm gonna check in their notes. Priests answer the requests of the Curia and care for agents. They are main duties to pray using the rosier clock in order to freeze blue blood for a period of time. Oh, that's why they do it. They freeze the blood. Okay. I must be careful. All I can do is pray, but I must not get discouraged. I was hired by Simon. I need to work hard so Arnus will be able to live leisurely. Leisurely. So I can cherish her smile. Aww. Alright. Save. 